Welcome to the Welling Technocrat YouTube channel. Some welders and engineers have understood that preheating is done to remove moisture from base metal. If preheating is not done, then the moisture on the surface of the base metal or a previously deposited well will cause porosity. Caution! This is not completely true. Let us now learn about preheat in detail. Today we are going to learn about preheat. What is preheating? What is preheat maintenance? What are the criteria for selection of preheat temperature for various combination of base metal? Usually people think that preheating is done to remove moisture. Yes, it does remove moisture for sure. But nowhere does any code or technical paper describes that preheating is done just to remove moisture. So what is preheating? The principle of applying heat until a certain temperature is reached and then maintaining that temperature as a minimum is used to control the cooling rate of well metal and adjacent base metal. The higher temperature allows more rapid hydrogen diffusion. It will effectively reduce hardening and cold cracking. So preheat is the application of heat to the base metal immediately before welding starts or in case of multiple pass just before starting well on the previously deposited well. The temperature is maintained above a specified temperature and then welding is started. We will now study what is preheat maintenance. Preheat maintenance is the practice of maintaining the minimum specified preheat temperature until welding is completed or some specified higher temperature for some required time interval after welding is completed for example post heating. Or the third one is preheating is carried out until post well heat treatment is initiated. Preheat is the application of heat to the weld edge prepared base metal or in case of multiple pass weld it is to the previously deposited weld. Preheat temperature is measured immediately before a welding is started. Preheat temperature is expressed as a minimum temperature. As per ASM section 9 and QW406.1, a decrease of more than 100 Fahrenheit or 55 degrees Celsius in the pre temperature is qualified as an essential variable. A decrease of more than 55 degrees Celsius in the pre temperature requires requalification of the procedure specification. These decrease in the preheat temperature directly affects the mechanical properties of the joints. The minimum temperature for welding shall be specified in the WPS. Let us learn what are the criteria for selection of preheat temperature for various combination of base metal. The first combination is thickness. For different thickness, Preheat shall be applied for highest of the minimum preheat. For example, part 1 is P number 4, group number 1, as 387 grade 12 class 1. It is 1 prom half moly of 12 mm thickness and it has minimum preheat of 10 degrees Celsius. Now part number 2 is same, it is P number 4. Group number 1 as a 387 grade 12 class 1 
one chrome half molly of 18 mm thickness and the minimum pressure is 121 degrees celsius so how to select the preheat temperature for this combination of thickness 18 mm thickness is higher than 12 mm then the preheat temperature shall be 121 degrees celsius for higher thickness of 18 mm the second combination is of different p number here the preheat applied to different p number base metal shall be highest of these minimum preheats for example part number one is P number 1, group number 1, SA516 grade 60, the minimum preheat is 10 degrees Celsius. And part 2 is P number 4, group number 1, SA387 grade 11 class 1, 1 quarter chrome half molly silicon. And it has minimum preheat of 121 degrees Celsius. Now how to select the preheat temperature for this combination of different P number? P number 4 has higher preheat than P number 1. So preheat temperature shall be 121 degrees Celsius as per higher P number 4 group number 1. Third combination is of different strength. For preheat apply to different base metal of different strength it shall be as per the highest strength group for example one part is p number four group number one as a 387 grade 12 class one it is one chrome half molly with tensile strength of 380 megapascal and it has minimum preheat of 10 degrees celsius and part 2 is P number 4, group number 1, as a 387 grade 11 class 1, 1 quarter chrome half molly silicon of 415 megapascal. The minimum preheat temperature for this part is 121 degrees Celsius. Now, how to select the preheat temperature for this combination of different strength? After 380 and 415, 415 megapascal is higher and preheat temperature is selected on that basis that preheat temperature shall be as per higher tensile strength of 415 megapascal that is 121 degrees Celsius. On this slide, we have the summary of how preheat is selected for combination of base metal. In the upcoming video, we shall study what are the factors affecting the preheat selection. So stay connected and do not miss that video. Happy welding! Thank you for watching. Kindly like the video and subscribe the YouTube channel. Push the bell notification for new welding related videos. Share the video with welders, welding foremen, welding engineers and welding enthusiasts. Thank you again.